Hi, Wayne here from Sears Parks Direct. Replacing a refrigerator water filter is usually simple, but sometimes it can be difficult to remove or a new filter can leak. First, carefully follow the water filter replacement instructions in the owner's manual for your refrigerator. If you're still having trouble, here are some tips. Wiggle the refrigerator water filter. When removing or installing the water filter, you may need to wiggle it back and forth slightly. Wiggling the filter helps free up a stuck filter by loosening water seal deposits. Wiggling the new water filter as you insert it will help align the filter as you slide it into the filter head. Shut off the water supply. Water pressure exerted on the filter head can make it difficult to remove the water filter, so we recommend shutting off the water supply valve for your refrigerator. Then, run some water through the water dispenser to release water pressure at the filter head and remove the water filter. Remember to open the water supply valve after installing the new filter. Extend the water filter housing head completely. For pull down and swing out water filters, you may need to extend the water filter head from the housing completely before removing the filter. If you can't remove the filter after extending it from the housing, first pull it out until it stops, then remove it. Use only the original manufacturer replacement water filter. Inexpensive aftermarket water filters can get stuck because they aren't made to the same specifications as ones from the manufacturer. These knockoff water filters can damage water seals and fittings in the water filter housing, making it difficult to remove or install the filter. Using knockoffs can also cause water leaks through damaged seals and water filter housing fittings. Don't take any chances with aftermarket refrigerator water filters. Buy the brand name filter that the manufacturer designed specifically to fit your refrigerator. Purge water through the dispenser and then check for leaks. Purging water through the dispenser gets rid of air in the supply system that can cause leaks. Air trapped in the water lines can force water out of the dispenser. If the dispenser still drips after purging water, Try purging two more gallons of water as constantly as possible to remove any air in the water system supply lines. If water continues to leak after purging more water, you may need to replace the inlet water valve. Purging water through the dispenser will expose any water leaks from the filter housing, so check that area for leaks after purging. Tighten a twist into place water filter or pull the filter out and reinstall it to fix the leak. If the housing still leaks with the filter installed properly, then you may need to replace the water filter housing or the water filter head. Find the manufacturer approved brand name filter for your refrigerator at searspartsdirect.com. Save yourself the hassle of remembering to order the water filter regularly by signing up for a subscription plan. You get free shipping and free up space in your memory banks. You can find more DIY tips in the repair help section of our website at searspartsdirect.com slash DIY. We hope this video helped you out today. Thanks for watching and subscribe to see new videos as soon as we post them.